supporter who could potentially threaten me. Don't tell me they uncapitulated themselves. No, they're still capitulated. But they will require some troops to kind of dig them out of their position. And then we push those guys there. No, 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 no. Cancel order. Cancel order. Agencies are getting nervous about your ethnic government. I don't know what that means, and I don't really want to click it just yet. I'll probably do a unitary government. Ah, another fresh batch of divisions that can... We just gotta keep pushing. I offered you a deal, Shang Chi. That's on you. It's entirely on you. You didn't want to play ball. Well, no, the ball is in your court. I don't know. I tried to make that sound cool. I don't really think it did sound cool, but. Just keep trying to connect roads. Don't think we'll need more civilian factories if we can just keep industrializing. Let's just cut these guys in half. By taking this, okay, that's Shang Chi gone. Now we just have to focus on Okay, and then do we finish our army reforms? We did, so we can work on that and then work on that. Yeah, if we would have joined this great alliance that they're talking about, the United Front, 
Um, I'm pretty sure it would have been a worth Mongolia too. In that front line would have been insane. Plus these guys in the south that would have had to deal with it just wouldn't be feasible to really uh, deal with that. Okay, if you fail, choose the right focus based on the plan and will increase the popularity. Syndicalism, legalized pro-revolution parties, first national election. Should the country be too far from its founding principles, they can expect dire consequences. Been provoked and will decide to act. You know, let's let's um stir the the hornet a little bit and get that coup. So I do think being totalist is probably the best way forward. Panama zones capitulated. Um, let's see. This Mongolian Khanate somehow came back from nowhere. How many casualties have you guys lost? 766,000, the most coming from the Ma clique. I've lost 155. Japan's lost 14k. Not a whole much to worry about, but it's progress. Let's get radio detection. Dude, I love getting these spam advertisements from these clowns who are, like, trying to make money. It's like, dude, Steam's been dead for, like, I don't know, six years. And people are still trying to, like, get cases and shit. Like, come on, you gotta know when the market's dead for something. CSGO is a dead game. Don't keep trying to scam people. Every time I get these accounts that just add me and say, oh, hey, look at this way I got, like, instant knives on a case opening, it's like, dude, it ain't 2015 anymore. Like, people know these scams. Cisco gambling websites have been shut down since, like, 2016. Like, why are we still trying to promote this? I don't know. That's my daily run today.
because, you know, we're just chilling here. About to finish these guys off. Now, actually, we might not be finishing these guys off because they just somehow pocketed us. They're actually, like, pushing hard down here. Liberating a shit ton of territory. Hello? Are we gonna do anything about this? I don't know how these guys even still have units, even though they capitulated. Fall of Bangkok. Who took Bangkok? Oh. Are you not in the co prosperity sphere? You're not. Japan is sitting on his ass. There we go. Fall of the Rashidi Emirate. No, uh, put these guys here. These guys here. Just completely pull out of all these unnecessary front lines that keep being made due to the AI. Keep pummeling him. We'll make a great modern army instead of relying on the masses because like that's what every China player does is just like relies on a shit ton of equipment. Um yeah, let's assume national leadership. I don't know what this uh, little blue line means, but either way, we'll just keep trying to improve the supply in the area.
five, new army, we'll go Okay. Ooh, concentration is at a max right now. Good thing is we're grinding a shit ton of infantry. Ooh. Grinding a shit ton of infantry equipment that we'll be able to use later. Or not infantry equipment, uh, XP and stuff like that. The annoying part about this game is that if it was just Japan, I would easily fight just Japan, just the Feng Ten government, I guess the litigation cities, but the fact is I have to fight Mongolia too, and when I push all the way up here, that border is huge to defend, so even if I capitulate these guys, I have to push south from um, here towards Korea, and I also have to push north and uh, west towards Mongolia. Not only that, I have to take out all these little cities and have to prevent myself from getting naval invaded, which is nearly impossible to do. So I just don't really see it as a viable option. I do see supporting these guys will option though. Never mind, they're authoritarian. Who are you at war with? Hyderabad? Fucking Afghanistan wants to revenge. France is holding out on a lifeline here. Let's get another research slot. I probably should have done that before, but... This is going to be a world dominated by the Reichspakt, I'm already telling it now. Making sure he doesn't cycle is probably my main goal. These guys are 363,000 casualties, and they're somehow still holding in the mountains. And yeah, I don't really want that with you right now.
What did that even just say, dude? Uh, 